Welcome to the talk show, The Power of Women in Business, the show for international business women to get inspired with best practices and insights on how to scale up your business internationally. Your host is Tineke Rensen from Holland. She is well known for supporting female business owners to expand their business massively and internationally. Tineke is an international business expert for 28 years and is the author of the book, Maximum Business Growth for Women. It is time that women step up and create bigger businesses so that women can make a bigger impact in the world. Enjoy this powerful show as Tineke Rensen and her guest expert combine their brilliance in business to help you take your business to the next level. So hi there everybody, we're back for the next episode of The Power of Women in Business. And I'm so glad you tuned in today because we have a world famous businesswoman here today, Marie Diamond. I will introduce you shortly. Stay tuned because I'm very convinced that she's going to give you very good insights on how she built a multi-million dollar business. Not even in her own country, but moving to the States, moving back to Monaco, to London, everywhere. Actually, we're sitting in London right now. So, Marie, yes, let me introduce you. Marie Diamond is a globally renowned, transformational teacher, leader, speaker, and international best-selling author. Creator of Diamond Feng Shui, Diamond Dowsing, and Inner Diamond Meditation Programs. She's also the only European star in the worldwide phenomenon, The Secret. International best-selling author of several books and home study courses. She uses her extraordinary knowledge of energy, quantum physics, the law of attraction, and ancient wisdom like meditation, feng shui, and dowsing to support individuals, organizations, and corporations to transform their success, financial situation, relationships, motivation, and inspiration. Her clients include billionaires, multi-millionaires, A-list celebrities in film and music, top-selling writers, and mot motivational speakers, top athletes, and sportsmen in basketball, soccer, golf, leaders from Fortune 500 companies, CEOs and top leaders in several top global MLM companies and governmental leaders and organizations. Wow! <laughs> She's the founder and president of the Association of Transformational Leaders in Europe and is a founding member of Transformational Leadership Council. Now, have I said too much, Marie? <laughs> Hi, Tineke, wonderful to be with you here. Thank you for being here with everybody that is tuning in. I'm so honored that we're sitting here and in London, and are you ready to uh, share your knowledge about how to build a multi-million dollar business globally? Of course, with pleasure. I'm very happy. So tell me, what is the mindset that a person, a businesswoman needs uh, to build a business outside of the country? Well, I think first of all, your mindset should be uh, very expansive, you know, mm -hmm. because right now it's easier with, with internet and, mm -hmm. and online, but when I started, it was, you know, 25 years ago, um, I was already very international uh, thinking because I had family in other countries, so for me it was like, I couldn't think in a box and mm -hmm. so a lot of people are thinking the country is that's the only market that they yeah. actually can have mm -hmm. and so you should actually have right away the mindset that the world is your marketplace mm -hmm. and if you look this way then automatically you will start attracting people or opportunities that are thinking like this too in your team but also clients so if you're just focusing on like okay the marketplace is my uh, local market. Yeah. Um, even if it's a, a local shop that you have, you know, it could be that tourists would come in and it, then you will not attract the tourists if you don't think that way. So always think, you know, the world is your marketplace. Yeah. I think that's the major one that I always did. And of course, the 
the aspect of gratitude is really important in my okay. mind. Yeah. So any step that happens, any opportunity that happens, being very grateful about that. Don't start um, you know, criticizing yourself, judging yourself, or judging mm -hmm. others, or criticizing others mm -hmm. um, about you know what could go wrong, what you know, what went wrong. You know, say like, okay, um, I always start really focused in the morning. Like, okay, these are the goals for today. These are the goals. This is my vision, yep. and um, and being grateful for you know the experiences I will have today. And at the end of the day, I always look back and looking at least, you know, okay, there's some things I can improve. Everybody has that. Uh, some challenges I need to really take care of. Uh, but, you know, even being grateful for the challenges and the lessons you're learning along the day. Yeah. Um, and again, thinking in such a way that, um, you know, you are just on a journey. You're on a journey of becoming successful. Yeah. And it's with ups and downs. And, yeah. um, and that is normal, definitely in the beginning. Um, but being even grateful for that journey um, is actually a really good mindset to think much bigger. I, I think that's that's a, that's a really golden nugget because uh, how often are we frustrated when things go wrong and what you say and when you can look at it the way like wow I need this I don't know why I don't know yeah. because of what but yeah. yeah it is really important even if you really have setbacks. You know, you learn sometimes the most from the setbacks yeah. that you have, and um, and things really went wrong in my in my career. I mean, I've, <laughs> I've really gone through some deep valleys, and um, but then you know, okay, I will never go there any anymore. Yeah, because yeah. I've learned from this, and um, and then you have to go back to the basics. Really, the basics is like the gratitude, the actions you're taking every day, having a positive mindset. Um, thinking much bigger than you know were you thinking before mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. thinking small will never get you to a successful business no. you really have to think globally expansive uh, more than the people around you that's the whole point because the people around you they can they will not think that that big as you and um, you know we had this conversation many times you know how important it is to think beyond you know where you are right now and uh, do you want to explain to me why that is so important? Because there is a secret behind it, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, um, I do believe that if you think bigger um, than what you are, then only then you will start attracting energy that comes to you. There's like like-minded people you will attract. You will attract um, opportunities, or possibilities that before couldn't come because it's about focus. So it's about intention and focus on that intention. And that's what the law of attraction is really about. That says, okay, what's your intention for your business? Mm -hmm. And keep focusing on that intention, not you know once a year, but every day in the mm -hmm. morning, to really making sure you keep having a focus on that intention, on that goal that you have for yourself. And as you're doing that, it's like a vibrational shift that happens within you. And then opportunities start coming. Mm -hmm. you, know, you start meeting people, like mm -hmm. you know, for yeah. example, we, <laughs> how we met, um, and and then you know, all these things just start coming your way, and then you just have to start accepting them, because that's one of the things people have an intention, have a focus, and then when these things happen to them, and doors open up, then sometimes they go in fear. Yeah, I recognize that. Right? Yeah. Like, <gasps> Wow, it's happening, it's happening. Yeah, it's happening. Open the door, you know, say yes, say yes to these things. So having then the power to say yes when the things you've been visualizing, you've been focusing on, having put your intention on are starting happening, is like it's aligning. But sometimes it takes some time to get aligned and you you have to keep focusing even if it doesn't show up yet. And and isn't it really important that you have to believe it's possible? Well, I always look at the word belief, and the word uh -huh. belief says be live. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So believe. <laughs> not believe. Yeah. <laughs> so live it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Live it. You know, be it. Be it and live it. What your business is about. So taking action. You know, if you have products, use your products. If you have services, you know, do your services. You know, it's like um, because I've seen so many times people that are not like you know totally be being living in that business right now does that mean that you wake up in the morning and you go to sleep in the, in the evening with your business 
Actually, yes, you are. <laughs> right? Some people are saying, no, I can only do a nine to five, uh -uh. Yeah. you know, mindset <laughs> of my business. But no, you actually, everything you do is connected with it. Even taking time off mm. and having a holiday is for your business because it means yeah. that you have time to recuperate to be better at your business. Mm. So everything, it's like it's your golden thread in everything you're doing, in your thoughts, in your feelings, and your actions. You have to really live your your business. Yeah. So what, what I love about this, this whole concept and this idea is that uh, I come from a place where you have to make things done and where you have to chase after things. That's, that's how I used to be. And uh, do you think um, you you uh, do you think that's changing or do you think that's not necessary anymore? Well, I never felt it was necessary. To be <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, um, so I really believe that um, there's an easier and more effortless way of doing business, and so um, having the right mindset, making sure that everything around you aligns with that uh, mm. idea and the goal that you have for your business. So that's why I you know, use feng shui in, yeah. um, with my clients and tell them, look, feng shui is like the art of your environment. Whatever is around you needs to reflect the goals you have for your business. So definitely in your, you know, your office, you need to make sure you have things around it that are related with your business. Uh, your logo and, and books and, and products. Um, everything has to be aligned with your business. Um, so for me that's really important, but also the people that you connect with. Mm -hmm. They need to align with your focus and your goals. If you're surrounding yourself with people that think more limited than you are, yeah. right, it's a really big problem. That's why it's so important, like what you're doing with, with Powerful Women, that uh, you're connecting with women that are men, that are like-minded, mm. they have the same goal setting. So at least, you know, be part of a mastermind group or a membership where you really are able to speak like this because in your own community or even in your own family, it's not always possible mm. to share that. So make sure that is all part of who you are. And when you do that, you will get much easier and more effortless in your experience. Okay, so you, you were just talking about Feng Shui. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm curious, how can Feng Shui help you to expand your business globally? Well, um, Feng Shui is about how the images, your position um, in your office, in your business, is actually set up. Mm -hmm. And so, um, the first thing I always say to people, um, make sure you have a globe, yeah, like a oh, globe okay. out in your office because then it's, you see it subconsciously because Feng Shui is about the law of attraction of your home and your office. So everything that's around you affects mm -hmm. you 24 hours a day subconsciously. Right. So if you have a globe there and, it's, and you see the globe when you are, for example, working, you actually give yourself a subconscious message, the globe is, the, you know, the world is my marketplace. So that's one of the things. The second part is you always want to make sure you see the door when you are in your desk. When you see the door, you see always the opportunities. Like you're like sitting like a king or a queen, and kings and queens think beyond their boundaries. They look beyond their limitations. They're having an unlimited feeling. So make sure you never position yourself with your um, back to the door and facing a wall. Because if you're facing a wall, you're actually limiting yourself. So always open up the energy around you. And definitely place and um, books and images um, and products that are connected with your business, um, but also about successful people, you know, that make sure they are around you. Or if you have um, top people in your professional field or in your business, make sure you have a picture with them if you have an opportunity, for example, with your CEO or with mentors or people who are very successful in your professional field. Make sure you have these pictures around you. What you do then, you're actually saying, I'm part of that. I'm part of these global thinkers, global business people. So um, even what I always say to people, make sure you have magazines of, you know, like a Forbes magazine or The Economist or mm -hmm. any other uh, successful business uh, magazine. Make sure you have them, buy them, put them always, you know, somewhere strategically that your eye comes with that. So 
it, it opens up your field. It opens up your subconscious mind to connect with things. Yeah, and, and I would definitely recommend. I was sitting to the wall in my office, and after I met Marie, I, uh, I changed that. And it, it, it felt already so much more open. So actually, I enjoyed seeing uh, the new spot a lot better. And to be honest, I didn't take the best spot in my office. I thought, you know, let my staff have the best spot. But that's, you know, it, that's not good. If yeah, you're making yeah. the decisions, if you want to attract situations as well, uh, instead of all making them happen, uh, you still need to make enough, you know, when the opportunities come your way, you, and you need to take action. Uh, and you need to help make things happen, eh, I believe. Yeah, you do. So when you have the space... We're not sitting yeah. here and waiting for stuff to no, be too. No, no, no. Eh? You know, feng shui is making sure there's a foundation, yeah. right? And so then from there, when opportunities will come, they come easier, more effortless when you have aligned your office with your thinking, with your goals. And then it's easier, but you still have to take the action. You still have to pick up the phone. You have to still exactly. do the emails. Yeah. You still have to network with people. Of course, that's what you need to do. But then when you come home and in your office space, you actually are in a better position. And so everybody also has a success direction. Uh, there's an area in your home for based on your birthday that creates success for you. So people can, you know, then we'll talk about what they can find that out on my website. But it's one of the things, whatever you place there, place there your globe. And that's what I did. I started putting my globe in my success direction. And um, people from other countries started coming to me. And doors started opening up that were international. And I still have my globe there. And when I look at it, you know, I'm like always thinking at the same time to all these people that are connecting with. So it's like a little anchor point for mm -hmm. your subconscious mind. I love that. <laughs> So, uh, I have some more questions for you, yeah, uh, Marie. Yes. Uh, what are the success rituals that you have um, practiced daily to keep you focused on your goals? Well, um, I always take time in the morning, first of all, mm -hmm. to meditate. You know, I'm a big believer in meditation. Meditation for me is like I'm aligning myself with, um, uh, with the energy that's in the universe. Um, because, you know, we have a certain amount of energy everybody has, but, you know, there's always a universal energy or if you call that God or um, the Creator, whatever your, your background is, I always connect in with like a higher source uh, in meditation every morning. And I always, one of my f biggest rituals in the morning is I always connect in with my vision. So I started with my vision when I was 15 that I was here to enlighten more than 500 million people. So if you want to work globally, then make sure you have bigger numbers in your goals. Because if you only have like 500 people, then unless they're like the top 500 people from the world, right? <laughs> um, but you know, have bigger numbers in your goals because that really, and have to make sure you have in your goals bigger numbers than your own country. Because then it actually tells you that you go beyond mm, your okay. boundaries, I know. right? I like that. So I have big numbers in my head. and. So, but every morning I always have the ritual, I sit down, I think about all the people that I'm connecting with and beyond, like the millions of people, and then I will always ask, you know, okay, I'm reaching 500 million people and more, show me how. I always ask the question, show me how. Now, to whom do I ask it? Well, I show it to my, ask it to myself, first of all, like, show me how, like, uh, as my subconscious mind, like, you know, mm -hmm. perhaps there's an idea, uh, a new program, a new a product, or a new contact, or somebody needs to call. And then I'm sitting really in that silence, and then, you know, like, suddenly I'm thinking about, oh, I should call that person, make a note of that. Um, take five minutes to listen to your intuition. Because we're like, right away, as business people, right away, we look at all our emails, look at all mm -hmm. our texts, but you forget the biggest source of information that you have, and that's yourself. Yeah. yeah? That perhaps something, uh, somebody you met, and then you forgot to connect with. You know, like sit in that silence. I mean, silence is a great source of information. Sit there and just say, okay, show me how, and listen, and then 
Sometimes, you know, nothing comes, and then other moments is like a whole download of things. Okay, writing down, I should do this and this and this today, and I, I need to ask uh, that team to do this. So I have seen most successful people. I have met, and I met a lot of billionaires mm. in my life. I always ask that question, and one of their biggest rituals is to listen in silence, to really take time to listen and to make notes. That's why they're journaling, or they have a notebook, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. in the morning, have that ready, and take time with your coffee or your tea, and don't look at your computer yet, don't look at your digital um, material yet, but just take time to listen to your yeah. own information. I've heard that so often from yeah. successful people. There's, there's something else which crossed my mind. How would the people know what their success uh, area is? You have an app, don't you? Yes, yeah, so you can actually go and get the Mary Diamond app. Okay. And so on the app you can put in your birthday and your gender, because it's depending on male or female, and then you get actually your four best directions. Now you can also go to the website, marydiamond.com, and there you can, again, uh, ask for your free energy report, where you have, again, you put your gender in your mm -hmm. um, birthday, and then you get a whole report and some videos to uh, help you set up, actually, uh, your office. So that will be very helpful for everyone. Well, I really liked it because you get sort of a compass on your on your phone which shows where your success direction is. And I actually noticed that at home, I did my office and my home, at home uh, my parents who both uh, have died and their pictures were in the success direction. Uh, now, I love my parents, uh, uh, but they've got nothing to do with my success now. Yeah. So I, I had to move them to another place uh, and then you have uh, an area of friendship, you have an area of re uh, connecting with relations. Yes, yeah, so you can, for example, in your office, you have a relationship direction. Yeah. So the relationship direction, you can put there your team, yeah. you can put there, um, you know, mentors, coaches, um, people you want to meet. Um, you could put, um, I actually have, again, there like a, a, a glow, but I... I have like little stars on all the countries that I have clients in. No. <laughs> so um, things like this. So you can actually play with that. Yeah. yeah? Um, and you know, when I have pictures with famous people, they will be in that area. So, um, but yeah, you can actually really use the app, and you're holding the app in the center and your of your office, and you will indicate what is in that direction. So in your success direction should be. Everything about your business, I mean, even your business files, uh, logo, product, services, mm. uh, your business cards, your flyers, mm. if you have that. Um, but if, for example, you have their, their pictures of your um, parents that have passed on, I mean, I'm sure there are people that give you wisdom and give you advice, but they're nothing to do with your current business anymore. Exactly, yeah. No. So you have to focus on what is there right now. Uh, declutter these areas. It's always like I've seen people, you know, order and organization is really, you know, nice. Um, and successful people always have a very clean office, by the way. I've been in many, many top offices and it's always organized. And so, you know, when they, they go home, their desk is organized. And when they come back in the morning, they can start fresh. So there are some rituals that you can definitely play with. Yeah, thank you. Because, you know, you know if, if you're watching now and you think, hey, I'm really practical and down to earth, so are we. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, but this is an extra thing that, yeah. or dimension or what, uh, how would you call it, that you can add? Yeah, it's a, an extra aspect. I mean, yeah. I started practicing that already when I was a lawyer, you know, working. Here you are, a lawyer. So, how much um, more down to earth yeah. can you be? <laughs> <laughs> so, but my career went so much easier and faster because I really practiced this aspect. Wow. So I was practicing yeah. feng shui and meditation. And so a lot of the successful people, they are really open to this. And it's just to add, um, you don't have to believe in these things to make it work. You know, you, you can't be a really non-believer, it still works. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's easy. So what, what was your vision to become a global successful businesswoman? Well, I would say in the beginning I had no idea I was focusing on doing business. 
uh -huh. uh, my, my vision was I wanted to reach uh, making a difference to millions of people. So and it was not about you? It was not about me. Um, that was actually the whole point. And mm -hmm. so in the beginning I thought I want to become a politician or a UN ambassador. It was kind of the focus because I want to reach millions of people and make a difference. And then I really understood that um, it was important for me to um, start teaching and sharing wisdom and, and motivate people to really uh, be better people. And, um, you know, I would say um, I had to think about the vessel I would use, right? Would I go for a non-profit or would I go for a mm -hmm. business um, mm -hmm. aspect? And I thought, like, well, I really would go for the business aspect. But in that time, 25 years ago, was really a very bold move to do that because most people that were focusing on things I was sharing were going for non-profits. And so, but I felt like it would be better if I do it towards business because then I really let people know the value of my services and the value of my products. Yeah, true. And so, because a lot of people that do motivation and transformation, they are, they're not, you know, sharing um, the value or they not being respected for the value. So I, I really felt that was very important at that time and I still do. Um, for me, transformational services and products are as valuable as um, other products. And so by making that difference, right away in the beginning of me coming forward with sharing this information from being a lawyer being to a transformational, mm -hmm. motivational speaker, um, I actually kind of run into business, by the way, to do that. But as I had such a big vision, um, I started attracting right away a lot of people from other countries. And so it just, then, you know, when you go to other countries, and I moved, you know, and I was 38 to America, and I just jumped over there, and then setting up a business there, um, I just felt, um, yeah, I think business is the best way to yeah. impact people. Uh -huh. You know, whatever product, whatever service you have, you make a difference with people. And it doesn't have to be transformational products. It can be, you know, anything you're doing, anything you're bringing, you're actually making a difference in people's lives. So I know people don't always think economically that this is a, a product of difference, of making a change in people's lives, but I really believe you're, you're making an impact. So. Also, another aspect for me was looking at the impact number. I believe it's really important to um, to look at the impact number that you want to have in life. You Which know? is? Well, for me, it was 500 million people. Yeah, okay. okay well, how many people do you want to, by the end of my journey and as a businesswoman, how much people have I, um, you know, really had an impact to? And my impact uh, is valuable and so I receive a value back for that. Yeah. So um, I always thought business is the perfect vessel to get value for my impact. So I kind of, you know, walked into it and uh, I think it was the best choice. Yeah, well, and, and you've proven that your strategies work eh? yeah. because you've already impacted more than 500 million yeah. people. Or was it billion? No. Well, no. Um, I think definitely the secret has reached more than 500 million people, yeah. directly or indirectly by people. So, um, yes, it is possible, for sure. So, and, and the one billion now. Yeah, what, what I know of you is that you had no idea how to get there, eh? but yeah. being the person who is going to serve the 500 million people already when you were 17, I believe, yeah. Yeah. made you... Well, I started early in thinking that way, yeah. so that's of course helpful, but I had no idea. I no. was always asking, show me how, like, show me how to go out to the universe, to myself, um, asking people, you know, how do I do that, you know? Um, and every person on your pad is a puzzle piece, you know, or every opportunity is a little step forward on the journey. So you don't get there right away. I mean, it took me for sure, um, you know, more than 20 years to get there. But um, every person that comes to you, every client, you know, I was seeing that's one of my millions of people. So I need to be for sure, um, you know, there for that client and, yeah. and give them even more value than that client even expects of me. Yeah. So that's one of the key parts. It's like, you know, um, 
you know, you tell them what your value is at the product service, but try to give more. Even if it's an extra smile or an extra beautiful um, connection, mm -hmm. or just always try to give more than what people ask for. I think that is also an, a big secret. Yeah, and uh, do you, I, I, I hear, you know, and that's been such a difficult transformation for me. Um, it doesn't matter if you serve two, three, or four people. Uh, because that's where it starts. When I started organizing events, and I had to, my first group was 25. Believe it or not, that's huge for somebody who starts. But I was frustrated because my aim was 100, and I really had to learn to be grateful for the people who show up, and that I can make an impact in the people's life that do show up. And it took me a long time because I was an achiever, I was a goal getter, and I was making things happen and you know, not seeing what's in front of me, you know, 25 people who I could change their lives for. Correct. Uh, yeah, that, that's, that's been difficult for me. And, uh, and now yesterday we, uh, we did a launch of my network in London and three people signed up and I was totally thrilled. You know, there actually were six people, so we have 50% conversion. But yeah. Five years ago, I could not be happy with that, you know, yeah. but I know we're going to grow, we're going to build. And also, yeah, because it's not about me anymore, eh? it's, it's about connecting women. And then I totally see what you uh, say. Well, I remember the first time I did an event, uh, nobody showed up, <laughs> actually. So I did better than you. <laughs> you did better than me. But it was really interesting. And there were 40 chairs, so I expect 40 people, and nobody showed up. And I just said, okay. I'm going to teach for two hours and I'm going to imagine this oh, millions yeah, of people that. that will sit on these chairs and I'm not going to stop. And so next time there were two people and I was still teaching. So even if I, before I do anything, before I do any presentation, any uh, seminar, I always connect with the millions of people that will at this point, you know, connect with me. And so I just never look at the physical uh, limitations of it. I thought like my mind sees the millions, so it's going to be millions. Yeah. Yeah. So, Beautiful. and, um, so yeah, you did better than me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> I actually heard I did better than T.R. Becker and Tony Robbins. All of them, they had five in the living room and I think, yeah. wow. But I, you know, I knew that. And I, I already had that knowledge and I was still not satisfied. So I really had to go inside and learn to be grateful. Well, That's I, been a difficult thing it is, for me. You know, one, one person that is super happy with you will always spread the word. And mm. now in today's world with you know, social media, it spreads much faster. Yeah. So um, I always believe you, you need to just have that one person that just is super happy. And I remember there was one person that came to a seminar once to, for me. And that person next time brought 10 more people, 20 more people. And it's like, it's like finding that one person that just, you know, really gets what you're bringing. Yeah. Wow. I, I, we, I believe we're coming to an end, uh, yes. Marie. Yeah. Uh, so you've already shared so much about how you took your business global. Is there anything you would give the audience or do you have a surprise for them? Well, I would definitely suggest <laughs> that they would go to the website, okay. you know, mariedamage.com, where they get the free energy report, um, and from there you get some other uh, wonderful gifts. I think that is a, a wonderful thing they can learn. Um, and really, if you want to make sure that you start really allowing um, your environment to work for you, um, and setting up your office for the greatest success and the greatest abundance that will, you know, really help your business go to a whole other level. Yeah, you know, and if A level uh, actors and, and, and listed people uh, consult you, you know, it's it, it's definitely working. <laughs> yes. So thank you so much, uh, Marie. Thank I, you so much, Annika. Yeah, really and you know, start working with the tips. Start to make the changes in your office, download the app and go walk around like I did in my office. It, things will start to change slowly or sometimes very fast, but yeah, it's, you know, you don't have to believe it, like you said. So thank you so much. And you know, as always, at the end of the video, you will see an ad with all Marie's uh, contact details. We will make sure that uh, you will get everything you want. 
and so that you will be able to connect with Marie. So thank you so much, Marie. Thank you so much, Yurike. It was lovely being here. And thank you for um, you making a difference in your life. Yeah. Okay.